Okay, so what we have here is the pulse generator, the 555. It's got a 0.22 microfarad cap on it. Uh, 1K, 1.2, and a 5K. Just change your frequency a little. It's 5K pot over here. And for the capacitor, I have this this capacitor labeled one. I know search Pico something, but not sure what at this point. Anyways, um, we have the pulse line, which is here, coming out, goes into the diode. This is that circuit that you guys are looking at on the forum. There's the cap. There's a 10k resistor to bleed out the cap into the transformer line one here. This is the sort of, I guess you can say the primary and then the other side of the primary. So if you look really closely, transformer basically is um, 22 gauge magnet wire wrapped like a guitar string with a 31 gauge magnet wire. Goes into this full wave it's just this one here. These are just a series of full waves, but I'm just using this one and out to these probes and then it's connected to the other probe to the scope. Okay, so I'm going to plug it in. Take a look at this. That's this this line here is basically the output. It's about 30, I think. Hold on. Let me just set this up. Yeah, that's the bottom here. So I'm just going to attach it back to the probe again. It's about 325, 28, 28 volts, I guess. I'm going to move this up a bit. As you can see, that's about zero. And that's the output of that. The transformer is a single line. This wire, it's probably about two and a half feet of 22 gauge wrapped in a 31. If I take this out, put on your side of this diode, essentially getting rid of all these parts, I get zero <laughs> out of this 